Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chicago Trader here for, uh, I believe, week six of the Fundamental uh, Analysis Series. I'm going to be covering MLNT, and it's been a while since I've had kind of a uh, company come up that interested me in the kind of longer term, big picture, kind of what's going on, um, you know, kind of play for a swing possibility for myself. Again, not, you know, investment advice, do your own DD. So this one happened to uh, move. It's uh, MLNT. Uh, Melinda Therapeutics. So it's kind of a uh, what I'm going to try to do on this one is go through a little bit of what I did last week, and then kind of try to piece together the whole picture and kind of uh, you know how I get more of a holistic view uh, from kind of a top-down approach when it comes to kind of researching these things and whatnot. So let me just jump right into it. Uh, so right here, obviously, uh, we have a dollar seventy-five uh, price per share, hundred million dollar market cap. So I'm going to jump right to the uh, most recent 10Q. So actually, before I do that, um, we'll see here if I'm going to look at the, you know, the first thing, like I said last week, I'm kind of jumping through here. Um, look at the outstanding shares, just a quick glance. So there's 31 million on March 2nd. I uh, punch up to May 2nd, 31 million, so no dilution. Q2, there's a jump. Um, as of August 8th, there's 56. Uh, it's cash, 83 million on October 1st, uh, 165 million in assets. So it's nice to see a biotech, you know, not terrible. Um, they have some inventory, some other assets minus cash. Uh, I can't remember what off the top of my head I went over last week, but a lot of these biotechs, the only assets they have are cash. But um, not a lot of debt. Current liability is 123 million. So, um, you know, after you take the cash burnt, uh, which I'll get into here in a second, it's about even for current liabilities, uh, the networking capital. As you can see, I have it here at about $10 million a month, networking capitals even. Um, I always do update the cash, right? So the cash that we're looking at in Q3 was as of uh, October 1st. So it's about 45, 47 million as of the beginning of uh, February for using that rate. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, high institutional ownership, uh, about 70% according to FinViz, obviously. When I punch back through, there's you know they don't put out a lot of 8Ks, and you know in the last year they've had four or five. But when I bring these up, so this one was uh, the one that caught my attention. So here's the data here on the side. This is uh, December 19th of 2018. They entered this um, agreement with uh, Viterra VHP for a 75 million dollar purchase agreement. That's where essentially this VHP will buy shares when the company Melinta. Uh, MLNT tells them to essentially. So then it comes back here and it says, look, a month later, they enter into a commitment letter for $135 million of a convertible loan facility. 